Let's talk about Ephesians 4.11 real quick. This is the scripture and the passage where Paul is talking about the gifts that God has given to the body of Christ in the form of people, men and women. And these are graces, uh, equipping graces and empowering graces and nurturing graces uh, to bring people from babes uh, in Christ into mature sons. And we talked about this before, that that word mature is the word perfect in the King James and is in the Greek teleos, which means a full-grown son. Now, here's the problem. So many are following men. So many people, and, and I, I learned this by experience. I, I was never a groupie. I've never been a groupie. But I followed men and submitted myself to men on purpose, out of honor and out of, for the sake and mentality of doing the right thing. Understanding that authority is there for a purpose to bring me into maturity. And I submitted myself to authority, expecting to come into maturity. But the only problem is that if you submit to yourself to uh, leaders who have not Uh, who are not on the path of and who have not become mature sons themselves, they have no ability to bring you into maturity. This is not something that happens by accident. If it was, then everybody's kids would be good. (laughs) Nobody's kids would grow up and go to jail. Maturity is not an accident. It is intentional It is focus, it is discipline, and it is separating yourself. No one becomes a Navy SEAL by putting Navy SEAL pictures and stuff on their bedroom walls. They they can't just look at Navy SEALs and read about Navy SEALs. They have to go separate themselves to it and be trained by, you guessed it, a Navy SEAL. The same is true for us. Apostle, prophet, pastor, teacher, evangelist. If you're called to be one of these guys, you have no business stepping into that role until you begin to walk in the footsteps of Jesus and conduct yourself as he conducted himself until you begin to become this perfect man. You've got to be able to know the path to perfection, know the path to maturity, and also be bearing its fruit continually. Otherwise, you have no ability to take people there. And that is the job of apostle, prophet, pastor, teacher, evangelist. Don't do it if your goal in it is to is not to bring people into maturity till they walk like and conduct themselves like Jesus. I mean power. I mean authority. I mean words. I mean deeds. I mean fruit. I mean conduct, I mean character, I mean heart, all of these things. Here's the issue. We got men who set themselves up in authority. Come on, they're, they're gifted. They're obviously flowing in some anointing. But they put a limit, a cap on you because you look at them with the expect, expectation of this is who I am supposed to become. Only they never have the intention of crossing the finish line of walking in like he walked and conducting themselves like he conducted himself. They never have the goal of perfection. They never have the goal of maturity. They never have the goal of walking in the measure of the stature of his fullness. And therefore, they put a cap on you because you look to them And you only rise to their level if you're diligent. If you consider yourself a leader, if you consider yourself, hey, I might be one of these five gifts to the body of Christ. The only, the best and the only thing that you need to do is to bear his fruit in power, in demonstration, in authority, in ability, in character, in heart. And in nature. And until those things start popping, you have no right. And you have no, uh, you, ha- you have no reason 
to step in front of people and say, follow me. Paul said, follow me as I follow who? Christ. What does that mean? That means you're, he, he had become so like him that he had the uh, responsibility to say to others, follow me because I have come into his likeness. If you are following a man and their goal is not to bring you into his exact likeness and full maturity, leave. Do not follow that man. You're going to waste decades. You're going to sacrifice your destiny. You're going to sacrifice God's destiny and his calling in your life. Find someone who has risen in their maturity to the point of Christ fruit bearing, then follow them because they can lead you into the full fruit of perfection, the full fruit of maturity, full grown sons, just like Jesus. If you can't find that person, get a group of folks together who want to become that. Start praying, start studying, start teaching each other, start holding each other accountable to good works. Spurring each other on, provoking each other on until you become it. This, see, this, everybody's hungry for God's move, hungry for God's revival, hungry for some supernatural dump from heaven onto the earth. That's not what this is about. God has done a dump <laughs> on the earth and it lives in you. And you got to stand up and you got to take responsibility. And you got to separate yourself, even if it means leaving people. You got to separate yourself to this thing so that you can come into perfection until you and those like minded with you become the manifestation of the measure, of the stature, of the fullness of Christ. There you will find the pouring out of his spirit. There you will find the multitudes thronging for what you have. There you will see the advance of God's kingdom and dominion as it captures cities, as it liberates regions, as it makes disciples of nations in Jesus' name.